Hello everyone, Miki Kovbel with you and today we're gonna talk about Solana ecosystem. My main goal for this video is to explain you why I think Solana ecosystem is gonna be developed very well in the future, especially related to NFT space and why I do invest my own time in learning how to build smart contracts and how to launch collections in this space. If you are interested in content like I'm delivering, please consider sus subscribing to my channel hit the like button and turn on notification bell and I'm always seeking for new ideas for my videos. So I do believe that Ethereum gas fees are extremely ridiculous and complexity of creation new collection and maintaining them is rather high. So while I don't think it's easy to create NFTs in the NFT space of Solana yet, but their team is doing amazing job in providing tools for developers and supporting them and actually creators without technical knowledge to launch their marketplaces. That's why I think this space is going to be crazy. A, because of low fees on the gas and we, if we want to launch collections related to gaming or any highly tradable uh, images on internet we want low gas fees and b because team is very very heavily committed to deliver tools for creators to make it easy and smooth to deliver new nfts so let's review ecosystem first of all i want to mention metaplex metaplex is an official solana uh, platform which is basically a storefront creator for nfts if you are a creator, you don't need to know coding. You can just use it, plug and play with, um, with this storefront and launch your own marketplace. So it's like a Shopify for NFT creator, which is quite a sick idea if you think about that. Right now they have quite limited functionality, but it's already usable. You can use it. If you're actually interested in how to launch your own marketplace on uh, Solana, please let me know and I will definitely record a video and if it will get enough traction from you. In the future, I believe they will add more and more functionality and most likely we will see something like Solana blocks and uh, something like PFP pro collections like Board Abia Club and similar ways to create markets marketplaces on Solana ecosystem. Definitely much easier than creating everything with your hands with Solidity contracts on Ethereum chain. Uh, if you're a more technical person, take a look at their documentation, go in devs, maybe contribute to their uh, repository. You can check their contracts in the Rust folder. In the Metaplex Foundation, I will attach links to this video. So if you want to launch something, and then you want people to mint it, there is no gas wars, there is no transaction fees are almost going to zero. With that in mind, I will just review uh, top level marketplaces which exist right now and some collections which are already listed there. So the first marketplace I want to highlight is Solana Art. And so far I think it's the most popular choice right now. To buy NFTs on this marketplace, you will need to connect your wallet, but not MetaMask, a phantom wallet. Actually, I want to mention that Phantom Wallet in the future, they will add uh, support of Ethereum. So you will be able to use Solana and also if in one wallet, which is extremely handy. Also, even right now, out of the box, uh, Phantom Wallet allows you to see your NFTs straight in the wallet, which is extremely handy. In general, I do enjoy experience of using Phantom Wallet and it's actually a great product. So once you created your wallet, you can go on Solana Art, choose some NFTs you want and you can go ahead and buy it. Actually, the process is pretty much the same like in uh, OpenSea. There is nothing special going on here. But I want to mention that I did buy my first NFT not on Solana Art because collections in Solana space, they are not equally distributed on the main platform like in OpenSea, for example. You can see that most of collections, they are trading there and you can find all the prices. Unless there are some exceptions, everything is just listed there. In Solana ecosystem, there are three marketplaces. It's Solana Art, it's Digital Eyes, and it is SolSea. These three marketplaces are the most active. While I want to mention that Digital Eyes and Solana Art is production, SolSea, I think it's the most promising, but right now they are under maintenance. They just launched a couple of weeks and they experienced some problems with the launch. Why SolSea I think is the most promising because they are going to deliver your ability to trade NFTs on different chains, on Solana, on Ethereum, on Polygon and so on and so forth. I think they address most of features which people were complaining on OpenSea and in general uh, while that small amount of time which was uh, present this platform on production I was able to experience and it was actually quite nice. 
I did buy my first NFT on Digital Eyes. While I don't enjoy user experience of this platform, it just simply had lower prices for uh, for specific apes which I wanted to buy. So right now, when you do buy something, I suggest you check prices on all of these marketplaces on Solana R, Digital Eyes, and in future on Sol C because there is no clear leader by now, and it also gives you opportunity to save money when you do trade something. So this is regarding marketplaces. The last topic on tools. So first of all, uh, please take a look at SolScan. SolScan is an alternative to Etherscan where you can actually check all your transactions. If you initiate a transaction, you're trying to buy or send something, you can take a look at all transactions and see what was the timing of execution, who was sending what to whom, and basically this is like a scaffold of Solana. Overall experience is great. I don't have any complaints. I really enjoy it. And the last one is Solana Analysis. Basically a tool like CryptoSlam where you can go and check all prices and floor prices, volume of trading, market cap and all related information to specific collections. I think it's a great tool, extremely handy. So if you're trading Solana and NFTs, definitely make a bookmark and use it. It's handy. They also have upcoming drops. Uh, I don't personally use them that often. I do like to find my information through Twitter and proven channels. This a little for me feels like a marketing, but up to you. Another tool I want to highlight is how rare is, which is alternative to rarity tools from NFT space of Ethereum. I think it's still in beta, so you be very careful when you do try to find collections here, especially when you rely on their rarity score if you want to buy and invest your money. It's extremely risky, so I do recommend researching yourself, studying Discord and understanding collection before investing because what they say is wrong it doesn't necessarily mean that community is committed to this pricing and this scoring as they highlighted here uh, but it can give you a high level understanding on how rare specific trades on specific collections and i think overall it's not bad especially for such an early stage of ecosystem of solana let me give you a small example how would i use this tool for example if i would want to buy a, this uh, digin ape i'll go and try to say okay i want something like with a ranking more than non more than 4000 and my maximum budget is 200 sol and i don't want to show like just show me everything what is only on sale right now and then i'll go submit the button and I will see, you see, like I will see only items which in this price range with this specific ranking. So you can see rank here and you can see the price. You can also basically sort it by price, for example, and just find the cheapest one you want to buy. And now this one 84 with a rank of 39.96 is the cheapest one on the market. So that's why I'm super excited about Solana. I think in the future it will have amazing experience of creating collections. So the friction for creators will be lower. Also, even by now you can buy and trade NFTs. You have a couple of marketplaces. You will soon have unified Solsi marketplace, which most likely will include also collections from Ethereum. Overall experience is quite smooth and you don't waste tons of money on transaction fees like in Ethereum. It's still a question who is going to be a leader in NFT space. Right now I still have majority of my investments in the NFT space of EVE because it's well developed and well known. But right now, lately I was very very heavily into Solana and I want to help creators to launch their collections. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on notification bell. I'm really glad to deliver you this content and please share more ideas or what you want to hear from me.